personality cannot be entirely predictable but its basic pathways can be somewhat mapped. It, however, comes into its own when it meets a contrasting outlook, S, and these have to combine or clash, more so in literature. Anything with more than one principal character works on the interplay of differing personality types, ranging from 2 to 5. The optimum is 3, reflecting the famous Viennese psychologist's conjecture of personality. While most of Sigmund Freud's theories have been discredited or replaced, they continue to make their presence felt in popular media. Among the most prevalent is his classification of the three constructs making up the psych document right, if, isocer banner is equal to is equal to free and, display con banner is equal to is equal to one, document right, good letter cmd push, function, good letter define out of page slot, forward slash 6516239 forward slash out of page underscore 1x1 underscore desktop div gpt at 1490771277198 minus 0 at service good lettered pool bards good lettered pool bards enable sync rendering good lettered enable services outstripping the association of a passionate Impetus, enthusiastic character matched with a more serene, controlled and observant counterpart, say Dr. Watson forward slash Sherlock Holmes or conversely, Tintin forward slash Capt Haddock, the four philosophy, cynical, realist, optimistic or apathetic forward slash conflicted, or four temperament, phlegmatic, sanguine, choleric and melancholic, Ensemble or the five-man band, leader, lancer, smart guy, big guy and chick, is the Freudian trio. This trio of the id, ego and superego is present in a wide range of literature from possibly the most famous trio of Russian brothers to the boy, wizard, who lived, a sword fight and intrigue story set in early 17th century France to the fantastic tale of a scientist and his aides taken, unwillingly, on a marvelous undersea tour, and the defining tale of Christmas to arguably the most famous space story, as seen on TV. But what exactly are these three? Freud, in his Beyond the Pleasure Principle, 1920, and the ego and the id, 1923, postulated the individual psyche comprise these three parts, all developing at different stages in life and non-corporeal. Saul MacLeod of the University of Manchester says that, at the simplest, they can be understood as the primitive and instinctual part of the mind that contains sexual and aggressive drives and hidden memories the moral conscience, superego, and the part that mediates between desires of these two, ego. Each has its unique features and they mix to form a whole, each part making its contribution to an individual's behavior. More simply, it is completely unconscious and has no judgments or sense of morality and governs our basic instincts. For superego, Freud who was in a sexist time, envisaged it as a symbol of the strong father figure, emerging after a boy jettisoned the Oedipus complex and since women don't display this, their superego is less developed. Ego, the referee, being realistic and rational, is the organized, and organizing, part of the consciousness. While this is now commonly thought as a central mediator between the competing demands, Freud thought of it as more of a middleman, driven by the id and confined by the superego. Freud originally used thus is, id, thus uberike, superego, and thus ike, ego, or the et, the overi and the i, which while intelligible to German speakers, had no evocative English equivalents, 
so his translator James Strecke coined them from Latin.